Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. If you've read my work in the Fish Niffer magazine or you've seen my videos here on YouTube, you know I love trolling for king salmon, whether it's the landlocked variety in a lake like Orville or the big ocean run cromers outside the Golden Gate. Now a lot of the time, I'll troll with rigged bait, but uh, at other times, I like to run hoochies or hybrid flies, and uh, I like to tip those with an anchovy fillet. Adding that fillet, it adds a whole nother dimension to the bait. It adds the taste of real meat. It adds, you know, scent. And it, it upsizes a bait. It makes a, you know, a three or four inch hoochie if you're out in the ocean. All of a sudden it's six or seven inches long. And we all know big bait often equals big fish. Now, if I'm in a lake and I want to add a fillet to a hoochie or a piece of a fillet, it's no problem. I can use a barbed hook. I pin that fillet on there. It stays put. I can even use a barbed treble hook if I want in a lake. But out on the ocean, that's not the case. We have to use barbless hooks here in California, and that presents a real challenge for guys that want to pin a fillet, you know, behind a fly or behind a hoochie, because you just don't know if it's going to stay on there. It might come off, you know, right when you drop your bait in the water, and you're not trolling a real effective bait, or at least not as an effective of a bait as you could be if the fillet was in place, you know, doing what it's supposed to be doing. Well, there's a simple solution for this problem, simple and ingenious actually, and I'm talking about bait buttons. Bait buttons, this is a bait buttons applicator. A bait button, and I'll show you one in a second, it is a latex disc. They come in two sizes. The large models for, you know, sturgeon fishing, king salmon fishing, and stuff like that. That's what I have here. And smaller versions for, you know, river fishing, steelhead fishing, and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's take a look at a bait button. This is the applicator. There's a whole bunch of them in there. You can probably hear them rattling around. And what they do is, is they slide down into a slot right here. Take a barbless hook. This is actually one of my uh, bait rigging hooks, but it is a barbless hook. And you just place it right there in that notch. Give it a pull, just like that. And there's your bait button. Your bait button is pinned on your hook. So let me show you how I use this to pin a fillet on a fly or on a hoochie. So let me grab one. I got a fillet here. I've got an ace high fly here, which is a great, you know, artificial for ocean salmon fishing. And uh, here we go. Let me set this stuff down. So here is, here is my ace high fly. And that's just, a, it's a hybrid fly. It slides on the line. I've added a bunch of beads to get, to get my barbless hook back towards the rear of the skirt. And, uh, I'll run this behind a large dodger or a flasher, and it's proven to be highly effective over the years, but it's even more effective if you pin that fillet on there. So what I have here, well first what I'm gonna do is I put one bait button on here first before I even put the fillet on. So let's shake one down, get that in the, uh, the notch there, pull it through the bait button, like so. Line that up on the hook about where I want it. So I've got that right about there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fillet. I'm just going to pin my fillet. Oh, probably I'm thinking about a quarter inch in on the fat end. So I'll pin that right through there. Bring that right through the fillet like that. So, so there's my fillet. It's in place, but it can still slide off there. There's a bait button below it. But up above, it's just a barbless hook, so that can slide right off. So I'm going to add a second bait button. Just pin that on here like so. Just like that. Just slide that on there. And I'll position those two bait buttons such that that anchovy fillet is pinched between the two bait buttons. Now that's going to stay put. It's going to stay where I want it. That ace high fly is going to slide down up against the eye of the hook. And uh, let me get this position so you can see it. What I've got there is a large profile artificial pinned with an anchovy fillet. That's six or seven inches long. And boy, when you get that behind a dodger and it starts pulling through the water, it looks like a big juicy bait fish. Plenty of flash plenty of action and when a king comes in looking at that he's going to smell that fillet he might get a little taste of it 
and that's going to close the deal. Super effective. Um, and the bait buttons, why they make it happen. They, they ensure that your bait, your filet, is going to stay in place. It's going to perform properly until a salmon comes knocking, and then you're going to be yelling fish on. So this is what it looks like on an ace high fly. And uh, I have another one rigged up behind a P-line, a white P-line glow hoochie. Same system. <clears throat> I've got that filet pinned between two uh, bait buttons. It's going to stay in place. It's going to do its thing until a salmon comes knocking and then uh, <clears throat> fire up the barbecue because it's going to be salmon on the barbie. Anyway, if you're looking to rig some salmon baits or you're just looking to keep anything in place on a hook, on a large hook, get yourself an applicator full of large bait buttons. They're very innovative. Um, they're amazing just in their simplicity. The applicator works great every single time. Um, I, I, you know, I found out about these a few years ago, and now I rely on them for all kinds of applications. We'll be back here real soon with more tips and tactics on YouTube. This is Kel Kellogg signing off. If you haven't had a chance to hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do it, and uh, we'll keep throwing this great content your way. Anyway, get some bait buttons and get after those salmon.